Hello beautiful Sagittarius. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Don. I'm so happy to have you with me. We're going to jump into your love reading here. Let's look at the overall energy. The messages from Spirit are, oh, broken heart, Sag, what's going on? Okay. Leave comments below. It really helps me if you have something to say or you have a suggestion to make about a video topic or anything else. Please, I answer comments. Okay. Temple path. So you really are looking for answers in your life as to what is going on in a period of time that you're, you know, you're experiencing that's very rough. We have financial constraints, interesting, okay. So I'm gonna read this. This is a thoughts, feelings, and intentions reading for our Sagittarius friends. This is the thoughts, feelings, and intentions of a love interest, okay? So we're gonna look at the energy of, it could be anyone, it doesn't have to be love. Uh, anybody you've come to the reading curious about. We have the Hierophant card as the overall energy at the bottom. So I like that. Hierophant is very stable energy. It's an earth sign energy. It has its traditional values. It's trying to be do the right thing kind of energy. It's very important. It is a marriage energy. It's someone, the overall energy of this reading is coming in as being a very honest, legitimate person who is desirous of doing the right thing, having a long-term commitment or committed relationship. Look at this. Their thoughts about you are that you are absolutely beautiful, that you don't need anybody, that you stand alone on your own, that you're very creative, you're very, very desirable. They see you as a catch, my friends. The Three of Cups, this could be a friend of yours. There's a possibility that this person has not really come forward to you yet. Three of Cups is celebratory energy. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Sagittarius, Ten of Cups. What's bringing you to the reading is a desire for a very happily ever after relationship. We see the Page of Pentacles. You're taking it a day at a time. You're not, you know, your person's not going to overpromise. They're not moving too rapidly. Again, this is Virgo energy. You know, when we look at the Nine of Pentacles, it's Virgo energy. Three of Cups is Cancerian energy. So they really want to nurture the relationship. The Ten of Cups is Pisces. The Hierophant is Taurus. Look at that. They see you as a Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is pre empress status. They see you as somebody who is very powerful in your own life. They see you as someone who uh, manifests very easily. You have a position of authority. You're very nurturing. Uh, you're very successful in your own life, career-wise. Queen of Pentacles is uh, Capricorn energy. You know, you're very serious about what you do. So I really like the energy. It's Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. You have a trifecta of earth sign grounded energy in this reading, plus a very uh, heartfelt sort of connection with this person. In the near future, oh goodness, what is what is up with this? Seven of Cups energy is an energy of being, um, you know, lecherous. It's an energy of being sneaky. It's an energy of pretending to be all nice, all that in a bag of chips and while they're taking from you. So this person is covetous. They want you. They aren't necessarily. We see a lot of honorable energy here. So we're going to have to clarify that because it can mean a lot of different things. But we never like to see the Seven of Swords appear in a reading. You have to watch what's going to happen here. It also can mean that this person will um, stoop to any method of winning you, which is still could include lying, not being completely honest with you. In terms of their energy and how they feel about you, we get the sun card. They feel as though you're, you represent happiness to them, joy to them. The sun card is probably the most important card and indicator of a long-term committed relationship that your person would view as uh, somebody that you, they view you as somebody that they'd always be happy with. It's Leo energy. 
it's that romantic absolutely romantic uh, energy of falling in love you know enjoying the moment going out and doing things in the summertime especially evocative of sensuality you know lingering at the beach feeding each other grapes so to speak but it's it's sexy energy very much so we get the star card this person absolutely thinks that you are a rock star spiritually emotionally accomplishment in terms of what you've done in your life the star card speaks to the fact that they see you as a manifestation of their dreams aquarius energy they see you as very enlightened somebody they can't really fool interesting energy what's hidden here is the seven of pentacles this person's a lot more invested so there's some dishonesty there it looks like they i don't want to say dishonesty because they may be a friend who hasn't revealed to you yet what they think and what they want and how invested they are they may think that you know we'll clarify everything of course but they may feel as though they don't that they would be broken hearted they may be concealing some sort of financial difficulties they might be putting like a, a shiny face on things What's the outcome at this time for you? The Three of Pentacles. So this person could be somebody you work with. I don't think they've actually made a romantic approach. What I see is more like somebody who's in love with you at a distance. They haven't told you. It's somebody close to you, though. I mean, when I say, when I say loving you at a distance, meaning they haven't disclosed it. The only negative card that I'm really seeing here is the Seven of Swords, and that is sort of being sneaky, you know, trying to find excuses to talk to you, trying to engage you in a project or, you know, what's going on. This is collaboration. Three of Cups, oh, let's go hang out together, you know, let's go have a cup of coffee. So let's see what this energy is here clarifying this. Very interesting reading. Sag, I, I was a little bit worried about this reading when I started, but not so much right now. So why do we have the broken heart, the three of coins, okay? They just don't think that you are giving them attention. This is the same card. They are very broken hearted. They just see you in that sort of work energy, collaboration. Um, they just think that you don't see that they care about you, and the chances are that's true. Nine of coins, again, nine of coins is repeating. Whenever we have that, it solidifies the interpretation and the meaning of the reading. They see you as a beacon, as a light of hope, as somebody who's very successful. The devil card says that this person is really struggling financially. Um, the devil card is burdened with debt. Debt is controlling them. It's like the chains of limitation, financial constraints. They can't really present themselves as being a good match for you and having a lot to offer. And this person is that Taurus energy says that that's what they want. They want to be able to make a substantial offer. Taurus energy is a hierophant. It's the Empress. It's the King of Pentacles. So they are not going to come forward. They're going to kind of sneak around and be in your energy and not really tell you how they're feeling about you until they can present themselves with in a better situation. Uh, in the meantime, they're going to hold back. They're going to put you in the friend zone or make you think that you are a dear friend, but nothing more. But you know what? <laughs> Sad, you're way smarter than that. So let's see what we have here for the snake card, the seven of swords. These fell out. The two of coins. I think that you could be dating somebody else. And they just do not want to be juggled. They feel as though the timing is not right. The five of swords... They can't win. They don't think that they can win. The moon card shows that they're feeling very uh, confused. The seven of cups shows that, you know, you're really, they just don't know which way to go. They know that if they make the wrong choice with you, that it could, um, you know, really make you pull back from them. So let's look and see what we have here for the energy of the, we're going to look at Heart of the Fairy Oracle because this is really what's in their heart space, what their emotional dilemmas are, the energy that they bring to the table that you don't see and they might not be aware of it, but let's see what's going on here. The Seven of Swords is a very unhappy, you know, unsettling card in a relationship. However, 
in this particular situation, what I'm seeing is I'm holding back their emotions and pretending to sort of be a friend, be a colleague, and they're just not stepping into pursuit yet. It looks like you're dating someone else, the remembrance. So the remembrance is they do things, oh, <laughs> that's very sneaky, but good. Okay, so this person is trying to build a repertoire of good memories with you. So for instance, if they were to say, let's go out for a drink after work during the holidays, they would try to take you to a place in which you could look back at it and go, that was so much fun and they have the best decorations and they have the best food and they're trying to build like a library of memories with you in a very subtle way. I do also think this is po it's possible that you're soulmates and they remember you from another life. This is hopes and dreams for love coming true, though. So you are the manifestation of everything that they hope and dream for. The Lady of Unicorns, they see you as rare. The Lady of Unicorns is somebody who's very particular with whom she has a relationship. Uh, this is a fairy that absolutely loves uh, human men. And so they're thinking that they might not live up to the criteria of this sort of exotic love relationship that they think that you want. We get the returning. Oh my gosh. All right. So here we go. So they're going to return to the scene of the crime. <laughs> and they're going to try to, uh, when they reveal to you, or they're going to, first of all, they're just going to, they're going to fix themselves is what I'm seeing. They're whitewashing over things. They're not revealing anything. They're in this energy of trying to fix things, coming up to your level, getting into the Hierophant energy. It is, they do feel a little bit wicked about doing this, but we do have a Prince of Light. We have somebody who has a very good spirit, who feels a little bit dubious about this pickle that they're in. You know, might not even be their fault. Let's look and see about their finances. The Devil card says that, you know, they could have an addiction, but, you know, on the other hand, we also see that sometimes people fall on hard times, temptation. All right, there we go, Tink. So I would say that you're looking at a person who got themselves in trouble because of uh, some sort of addictive behavior, you know, whether they're a spendaholic, whether they're on Amazon all the time, whether they go to, uh, whether they go to the casino, but Tink is all about just being playful, kind of like, I just want to tinker around and have fun. So I think that you have met somebody here that, you know, is really a good person, a good spirit. They know what they want, but they're not there yet. They are not at your level, Sag. So right now I see them keeping this very much a secret. Let's look at the advice for you. Let's see what spirit has to say about that. What's the advice for you? What advice should Sagittarius follow? You know, I think that you are really okay without this person. I think you're very successful, very content. It does look like you're dating other people. Re refuge, Enchanted Fern Grotto. So what we're seeing here is that this person does offer, you know, they offer this energy of being a, a bit of a refuge for you. They're sort of like the port in the storm, the person that'll talk to you, spend time to you with who you can confide. We see meandering pathway. I'm not really seeing you feeling as though you want to do anything quickly with this person. You do seem to have the knowledge that they have these feelings for you. You are moving forward, but we can see you're alone in the boat there. So I feel as though you have a good idea, but this person's meaningful in your life. It could be, again, a friend, a colleague, but I'm going to leave it there, Sagittarius. Wishing you a good week ahead. Take care.